Hello, my name is Janika. I am an expat from Finland, living in the Netherlands, and welcome to this vlog. Today it is the 3rd of May, which means it's yeah, still the beginning of the month. And yeah, it's starting to be that time of the year that if I still want to see some more tulip fields and spots, I have to start hurrying because I am afraid the blooming will soon end. So today I am heading to two different tulip spots. By the way, if you are interested in learning more about when and how to see tulips here in the Netherlands, what are the best places to do so, I have made a separate video for that uh, tulip guide. So I would recommend that you check that out. But yeah, let's head towards the bus stop and head to today's first destination. I am almost there. Some of these places are, yeah, well, it's doable, but it's not so easy to access without a car. Now I had to take a bus and walk almost two kilometers to get here. So yeah, if you have a car, that's definitely an easier option. But at least it is a beautiful sunny day. So it's not so bad to get my steps in for the day, <laughs> so to say. This view is starting to look pretty promising. And yeah, we are almost there. So I have a bit of time before the excursion starts. So I got myself the cutest tulip pastry. Looks like this. Yeah, looks like a tulip. I'm sitting at the most beautiful spot with the most beautiful view. Honestly, I only picked this pastry because of <laughs> because it was cute. Um, let's try and see if it also tastes as good. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Whoa. Yum. But yeah, I need to hurry up and eat this before the excursion starts. No, no, no. It was then time for the tulip excursion that I had booked in advance. It cost $7.95 and took one hour. During the excursion, the farmer of the place takes you to his tulip fields that you otherwise don't get to visit. During the excursion, I got to learn so much about tulips and tulip farming. I would definitely recommend doing the tour. I learned so much about tulips and flower farming that yeah a lot of like fun little facts and stuff that I didn't know before to be honest. So yeah it gave much more insight into what it's like to be a tulip farmer and how the business works and also the best tips for if you want to grow tulips yourself. If you want to take pictures here in the fields with permission, then do the excursion. The tour is now over, um, but before we go to the next place, let's still check out the show garden that they have here, the one that's free to visit for everyone.
it is now time to leave the beautiful Tulparai behind and head towards the next destination. If I would be with a car right now, the trip there would only take like 10 to 15 minutes. But I'm going by walking and public transport. I'm taking a bus. So <laughs> the trip there takes like 48 minutes. Quite close by, but only if you are with a car. Let's start heading towards the bus station. Oh, wow. Look at this uh, tree. I don't know, can you see it? It's super beautiful, wow. Well, at least I get to see beautiful things like this while walking. A problem that I sometimes have in the Netherlands is where am I supposed to walk? Here's the car road, here's the bike road, and here ends the pedestrian where you can walk. Oh man, I ran and just made it to a bus, otherwise I would have had to wait for over half an hour or so. That was lucky. So I was thinking to myself that I'm starting to get quite hungry and I happened to stumble across a really nice looking terrace restaurant. So yeah, decided to stop here as it's on the way to the next place and have some lunch. Now come to the second and last spot of today and it is the Tulip experience and this place seems to have it all. First there's a museum where you get to learn about the history of tulips and then there's a souvenir shop, there was a some short video cinema thing, um, then there's a restaurant or like cafe and with the entrance fee it is actually included that you can pick five tulips to bring home and then there's also a show garden so a bit similar to what was in the Tulparai with all the different varieties of tulips. This seems like the place that really has it all. I'm really excited. But yeah, let's start our tour here with the museum part of it. possible I would definitely recommend coming here with someone because it is so beautiful and you could get such beautiful photos but yeah I'm alone <laughs> so I can't really get photos where I am I wish I had someone with me here Something fun and interesting I learned today is that if a tulip looks like this amongst tulips that look like these, you can see it's different. That's because it's actually a sick one. It has some kind of disease that makes it look like that.
Okay, don't come for me for my packaging skills. <laughs> they suck. But I have my five complimentary tulips now packed and with me. But yeah, if you really want to like actually pick your own tulips, I would recommend going to another place called Annemiekes Plaktuin. I went there in my previous vlog. And yeah, there you can really like pick your own tulips in the field. So that's even nicer. But of course, this is a very nice thing that they have that everyone gets five tulips. I think it's quite a cute idea. I am now waiting for a bus back home and I'm gonna stop filming for today. Oh, well, look, by the way, even the bus stop has tulips on it. Oh, that's really cute. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I get distracted easily. But yeah, I'm uh, heading back home now and I'm gonna stop filming for today and start filming some other day again once I'm doing something fun and interesting. Today it is a Saturday and me and my friend are gonna head to this Japanese garden that is in The Hague. It's a place I've been wanting to visit for a long time, but they're only open in May and like the first week of June. But yeah, so it is May at the moment and the sun is shining outside. So now it is the perfect opportunity to go and visit. I don't want to be late, so let's get going. Me and Delia <laughs> have arrived to the Klingendal Park. It's a huge park and then a part of this park is the Japanese garden that is currently open. But yeah, even just the park itself, we've just entered and it looks so cute. And look at this little Dutch house right here by the entrance. It's the perfect day to visit this place. so sweet. We haven't gotten to the Japanese garden yet, but we found some sheep and... <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh my god! Oh, I don't have anything! I love cows too though. Hello cow! Hello! You're really big. So the line to the Japanese garden was over an hour long, so we decided to come to a cafe instead first and have some lunch and yeah, it's in the park and really lovely. We've now had a lovely lunch and we're gonna head to the Japanese garden. Fingers crossed that the line won't be as long as it was before or even longer. <laughs> Let's manifest a short line. The line is gonna be short and the wait is not gonna be too long. Let's go and explore it. It's kind of like going to a theme park. Yeah. We have gotten in, it said the way would be over an hour, but in reality it was like 20 minutes. So not bad at all. It looks already so pretty here. I'm so excited. It's gonna be perfect for cute photos.
Goodbye, soft moss. I know, I love it. I want to take it home. It's just so nice. <laughs> Imagine walking on it with bare feet. Or just taking like a nap. <gasps> that would be so nice, like right? Laying on the clouds. Yeah. Oh, so nice. Okay, Delia, how did you like the Japanese I garden? I loved it. Beautiful. Would you recommend others to visit? Yes. yes, go. And the line is not as bad as it looks. No, it says, like, for us, it said it's going to be over 60 minutes. But we waited like 20 minutes, so. It was so short, yeah. yeah. And it's stunning. And touch the grass if you go. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like free therapy. Yeah, it's so nice. It's really and this lovely. park in general is really nice. The lunch was amazing too. Yeah. We can see there's like a gender reveal balloon thing going on there and we really want to see them pop it <laughs> over there. Just pop it already. <laughs> Don't they want to know? Oh, okay, do it. Uh -oh. I, oh, I think they're going to do it. What do you think? Okay, okay I'm going to say boy. I'm, okay. <laughs> I think girl. 50-50, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> One of us must be right, right? Oh, come on. I've never seen this in real life. Suspension. No, I haven't. No. Never. They're counting what down. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Zero! Is, I don't even know who these people are. Ah, it's a boy. boy! So we just saw the gender reveal of random people and I got it right. It was a boy and that was fun to witness. And it was the perfect end to our trip here to this park. Bye bye! You were so nice. Time to go home. Today we are in the city of Leiden. And I have a friend here visiting me from Finland. Henry, do you want to say hello? I have my uh, friend Henry visiting me from Finland. And probably. Yeah, <laughs> prob probably visiting me from Finland. And we are currently on our way to a museum here in Leiden. And yeah, we're gonna spend a nice and cozy day exploring the city where I live. museum we are visiting is a national archaeological museum. It focuses on the ancient Near East and Egypt and also the classical era of Greece and Rome. The museum also has a really nice looking terrace and a cafe where you can relax after your tour around the museum. Next we are gonna have some Dutch apple pie because my friend Henry has never tried it before and it's really good and we came to this 
really cute little cafe here in Leiden that I've actually never visited before, but they're supposed to have really good apple pie here. So let's try it out. <laughs> Huge. <Ooh. laughs> ah, so Looks no good. dinner anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> They're huge. <laughs> a little beer. Yeah. Thank you, Al. What do you think about Dutch apple pie? We are definitely going to eat more. Yeah? <laughs> For dinner too. Yeah. <laughs> Currently we are browsing some stores and at the moment we're in a bookshop. I'm trying to sit down for a bit so that I don't buy anything because at home I have so many books that I haven't read and I am not allowed to buy anymore until I read a big part of them. So yeah, trying to practice some restraint. This is the garlic with baked onions. <laughs> Well. I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. yeah it's good. You should try this one. I won't say which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is chili pepper with vinegar. Yeah, I'll have pepper with Yeah. And that gets quite spicy. Mm -hmm. uh, such a lovely and beautiful day here in Leiden today but yeah I think I'm gonna end this vlog here I hope you have enjoyed it if you did please remember to give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see also more videos in the future thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye